Kim Kardashian has seen her hopes of attending the official Platinum Jubilee party get rejected by Buckingham Palace. The Skims founder, 41, is one of the most popular celebrities in the world, with more than 315 million followers on Instagram, but it appears she has been snubbed and will not get an invite to the official Platinum Jubilee party on Saturday. According to a source, representatives of beauty mogul asked for tickets to the event for herself and comedian boyfriend Pete Davidson, 28, but was turned down. It is reported that both the palace and publicists at the BBC, which will broadcast the event, starting at 7.30pm, rejected Kardashian's pleas for tickets but the source said that Kim is so keen to be at the ceremony to mark the Queen's 70 years of service that she does not mind if they were not VIP. The source told Mail Online, Kim rarely gets turned down to attend any event, so this has been quite surprising, especially as she doesn't visit the UK often. Kim and Pete love the royal family and really wanted to be a part of this special celebration. Queen and Adam Lambert will open the concert for the star-studded event, with the likes of Alicia Keys, Duran Duran, Andrea Bocelli, Nile Rodgers, Diversity and Eurovision star Sam Ryder also performing. The two-and-a-half-hour show will be closed by singing sensation Diana Ross in her first live performance in the UK for 15 years. Sir David Attenborough, David Beckham, Dame Julie Andrews and Emma Rajakanu will also be making appearances at the event, which will have 22,000 people in attendance. Up to 10,000 tickets were allocated via a ballot, with a further 5,000 going to key workers. Celebrations began on Thursday with Trooping the Color, the Queen's birthday parade, before the lighting of the Platinum Jubilee beacons. A national service of thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral, which the Queen will miss due to experiencing some discomfort, will take place on Friday. Saturday will see Her Majesty the Queen attend the Derby at Epsom Downs before the Platinum Party at the Palace. The Big Jubilee Lunch and the Platinum Jubilee Pageant will round off the four days of festivities on Sunday. Kim and Pete were spotted in the capital earlier in the week for what was described as an unexplained visit to the UK. The couple were photographed holding hands in London and looked completely smitten as they went for date night on Monday evening. Kim stunned in a Balenciaga hoodie and skin-tight leggings, while Pete looked comfortable in a plaid shirt and jeans. The couple were both sporting bleached blonde locks after the comedian dyed his hair to match his girlfriend. After smiling coyly for the paparazzi they dined at the River Cafe and looked deep in conversation before being whisked away in a chauffeur-driven car. They then sparked engagement rumors on Tuesday after they were seen walking hand in hand into a luxury jewelry shop in London's Mayfair. Kim was chatting away to the shop assistant in Comde Garrison Jewelry on Dover Street Market as she looked at the expensive items. Web celebs at mirror.co.uk